Hey guys, Adam here from DirectionTrader.com. Let's go over today's um, kind of daily recap and then talk about what we see moving forward. Quite the day here in the in the markets in general. I was going to say the stock index futures, but the, the crude has really given us uh, given us a little bit of a <laughs> kind of a wild ride today as well. Actually, let's start off with crude. We'll start off with crude here. You can see just by looking at let's just show up here the 15 minute chart. Up here looking at the 15 minute chart in the upper left hand corner, you can see that this thing has been quite the ride today uh, with uh, with the prices moving up, down, uh, not really choosing a, a direction per se. We started off with a nice push to the upside here this morning. You're thinking, man, things are just going to go to the moon here with crude and all of a sudden, whammy. Big sell off in the morning, big pop up. You're thinking, hey, all right, now we're going to continue to push back up and then whammy again. So now we're trying it again. So... <laughs> been quite the ride here guys let's go ahead and down here in the bottom left i'm gonna turn this five minute into a daily chart and let's uh let's blow it up so we can see a little bit better here of what's really going on here in the market and uh see what we can uh what we can see here and, and possibly uh look at going into tomorrow you see we obviously have these swing lows that we've been dealing with that level is still marked up here we can still see our little green box here. We were looking for a bounce before. We're still trying to be patient here, wait to see if we can get that bounce. But we've went into this little sideways funk that you can see right here. So are we going to go ahead and continue pushing higher? Or is this market going to go ahead and roll over and start to sell off at this point? Um, that's kind of the, that's the unknown question. What I'm going to look for is I'm going to look and see, just like we talked about in yesterday's video, how this market closes. If we can get a rally into the close, I think that will hold the upside momentum going into tomorrow. So, like yesterday where we had a nice sell-off and we popped into the close, led to some further buying as today. As you can see, we're having a little bit of an update today. If we can get a little bit of a pop there into the close today, I will look for possible pop and follow through tomorrow. The number one gauge I'm going to use is once we open up tomorrow, I'm going to watch for the previous day's highs, meaning today's highs. So tomorrow, if we pop through today's highs and start trading up, I'm going to go ahead and look for longer opportunities to trade up towards this 21 period moving average. If tomorrow we open up and we hold them previous day's highs and it starts to roll over, I will be looking to the downside because we are hitting our daily resistance here and it's just as likely to find resistance and start to roll over as it is to pop right through it okay the only reason we th we're thinking that it may pop through it is simply to revert back to that 21 period moving average which it has done very nicely in the stock index futures so that's what I'm looking for tomorrow watching that previous day's highs watching how the day closes Kind of like yesterday's video. Let's see how we how we do here going into the close. Seeing if we can get above them previous day's highs to go long. Maybe look to fade anything down below them previous day's highs. Okay, guys. Hope that helps out. Let's go ahead and move forward. We'll leave the daily chart up here, but let's go to the uh, let's go to the Russell. All right, here in the Russell, we all know that we've had such a sideways year. The whole year has been sideways. That's just been the nature of these markets. We had this swing low, these swing lows that we've traded so much back in February and then April and May, all these lows. We were looking for buy opportunities. We just kept on buying these opportunities as we retested this support. Sure enough, we're back there again. We, we, we kind of tested ourselves by breaking down below, below there, but that was just for a couple days there. And ever since then, what have we been talking about? We've been talking about buying them lows, buying them lows. Every time it's come down, I look to buy them lows. Any opportunity of buying we can get, we're trying to get an opportunity to, to go ahead and buy. So our first goal down here was to revert back to that 21 EMA. Piece of cake. We've done that. Now we've taken it to the next level. We're testing this previous swing low. And not only that, this thing is having just a whale of a day having a really nice strong push to the upside just a really nice push to the upside we're getting ready to start testing that daily 200 which is another very important level for us to pay attention to so we're going to test that tomorrow but kind of like we just talked about on crude let me pull up this 15 minute chart here this is the 15 minute chart of the um of the russell 
If we can continue this momentum into the close, that is a sure sign of possible follow through tomorrow. So as far as we're concerned, if we see this thing continue to push higher, continuing to ramp up, continuing to get some momentum to the upside, look into tomorrow, mark up them previous day's highs, kind of like we did today. See, let me, uh, sorry, let me get rid of this. You see this uh, previous day's highs marked up by this green line? We were looking long once we got above that today. I never got any fills. We put one order out there to get filled, never got filled, but nonetheless, it's the push that we're looking for, the opportunity to the upside that we were looking for. Nice little, little push there. We danced around here at them previous day's highs for a long time and then off to the races. So same analogy going in tomorrow. If we can get a pop above uh, basically today's highs, which would be the previous day's highs, I would be looking to the long side, but I would not be afraid. If this thing starts to, like today, if we, if we start to chop sideways into the close and we don't continue pushing strong into the close today, look for this thing to maybe take a little bit of a break here. Maybe retest again before it actually pushes any higher if that's what it's going to do. So right now we're going to watch into the close. If we push stronger, then we probably got a little bit more push to go into tomorrow. Then maybe a little pullback before it ultimately gets a bounce. Now that's very long term. We're just talking about tomorrow. Look, at, look, look out for this 200 period moving average. Could cause the market to have a little bit of a break, maybe put on the brakes just a little bit to the upside. So if you see the market starting to roll over, you start to see your five, your 15 minute anchor charge start to roll over, don't be afraid to go ahead and look for that downside opportunity tomorrow. But also be very aware if we, go, if we get some strength into the close, we could see another upside move. And uh, it's kind of that, that, that if then type of trading environment. If it, if it rolls over, then let's go ahead and trust it to the downside. If it continues to push up, let's go ahead and trust it to the upside. So we're kind of kind of at that line to where we're trying to decide whether this thing wants to pop, wants to give up just a little bit, what exactly we want to do. Here is the S&P. Same thing kind of here with the S&P. We drew all these fibs on here because we were trying to find some fib clusters. We bounced right off our main fib cluster when we've been talking about getting this thing to revert back to this 21 EMA. Sure enough, it's there. And now we're trying to decide whether or not it's going to push higher or we're going to take a little bit of a break before possibly pushing higher. So at this point, I'm going to watch into the close. We've got about I don't know, 35 minutes, 40 minutes left. If this thing continues to trade higher into the close, I think we could get some extended push tomorrow. I would make sure we get up above previous day's highs before I get aggressive to the upside tomorrow. If we stay below previous day's highs, I will look to possibly fade this thing as a little bit of a pullback. There's several different areas we can look to have it pull back to, a retest of the lows, or even just a retest of this minor pullback here. That is probably something that's very possible going into tomorrow. So watch what we do into the close today. See if this thing wants to just go ahead and and just shoot to the moon, or if it can just pause a little bit here at this 50 period moving average, if our five and 15 minute charts start to roll over a little bit, I will be looking to the short side on the stock index futures um, into tomorrow's trading session. But we've hit, because we've had one, two, three, four, really good pushes to the upside guys. So, and these aren't just these little bitty grinds to the upside. These are really strong pushes to the upside. So curious if we're running out of steam just a little bit here on the S&P before it needs to take a little bit of a break and then continue on higher. So I uh, hope, these, hope these videos help, guys. Um, if you have any questions at all, go ahead and email me, adam at directiontrader.com. If not, thank you for watching, and I will see you in tomorrow's video. Have a good night.